Tracy Bunkers here. Today I'm going to show you how to use henna stencils in your art journal. And the techniques that I'm going to show you, you can use with other artwork as well. I'm going to show you how to use acrylic paint and also airbrushing. And these are some of the stencils that you might be able to find. I have them available on my website and I'll give you information at the end of the video on how you can get them. Um, I like to use these in my artwork and people always ask me about them so I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how I use them and you might like using them too. You can use them as borders, you can use them as background to create background images and you can also use them just to have a nice graphic on your artwork or your art journal. So there are a whole bunch of different ways you can use them. So why don't you come in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Don't be afraid, it's alright, come on up close, come on up to the front. And uh, let's get started. Before we get started, there's a little something that I like to do to my stencils. They are adhesive on one side. Let me show you. They come in these little packages. Sometimes they're a little stuck. Okay, so see they're adhesive, which is a great thing. But when you are working in a journal, uh, you want to be a little careful. Since this is sticky, it could rip your paper. So here's what I like to do. Let's get these out of the way. And I do this to all of my henna stencils before I use them. I sprinkle baby powder on top of them. So basically what you're doing is you're just putting something to cover the adhesive. And... Uh, I'm just going to sprinkle it on there. This is taking away the stickiness. But when you wash it after you're finished, the baby powder will come off and uh, it'll be adhesive again. Just brush off the excess, making a bit of a mess here. I usually do this part in my bathroom over the sink, but I didn't think you wanted to go into the bathroom with me. So there, I've got the... Um, baby the excess baby powder off and it's not sticky anymore okay I'll set that aside now I've got so much baby powder on there I'm going to go ahead and prepare my other stencils and I'm just going to dab it dab the other ones on to the baby powder there's enough on there that I don't really need to sprinkle anymore on there, perfect. Now before I get started, since this is my art journal that I've been working in, I don't want to do anything that's going to get paint on the other pages. So I like to put a little bit of uh, wax paper or deli paper underneath. That's what I've got here. Let's see if it goes better the other way. All right. First, I'm going to show you how to use acrylic paint, and I'm just going to use this kid's brush. It's just a fat brush, and I have trimmed the edges. I've trimmed the ends off so that they aren't as long. And I've put some red paint into my little paint dish. You can use any kind of a um, paint palette. Now, first, let's do some borders. I think these would make great borders on the sides. Um, actually, before I do that, I want to use this one along the top, so I'm going to do that first. Now, sometimes the stencils might have a little bit of excess stuff on there you might need to poke off. Okay, so I'm going to use this one along the top. So before I do anything, I want to figure out where it'll fit. Maybe if I do one right in the middle and then on the edges. So I'll do one on the sides and then right in the middle. And really you're just using these like normal stencils. So I am dabbing my brush into the paint. You don't need a lot. Now since this won't stick, you're going to have to hold your hands and move them around. And you just tap through the holes. Looks like I've got it covered. So I can carefully peel up that looks really cool. All right, now I will do one over here. All right, that looks good. There. Now, if I'm real careful, I can put one 
right in the middle. This one will be a little trickier because of the fold of my book. There, that's pretty good for the fold. Normally I wouldn't do this on top of my book, but I don't want to uh, move it. So I'm just grabbing a baby wipe. You can either wipe them with a baby wipe or just run them under water, under the water in a sink. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to blot it with a paper towel now. And that is good enough until I can get it to the sink to wash it off. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now, I should have said before, this is a journal page that I obviously already put paint down and I have one image. I don't know what I'm going to do with the page yet. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just uh, playing around with my henna stencils. Now, I want to do these on the sides. Yeah, I'll do this right here on the side. And I think I'll just use the same red paint. Looks like I need to add more red. I'm just using some uh, Memories scrapbook paint. Any kind of acrylic paint will work. There. <clears throat> do the other to the other side. Okay. <laughs> Some of it kind of got underneath, but that's fine. I'm just going to set this aside. I'll clean it later. Now I want to do some on the bottom. With these round stencils, you can either use them as a full circle. Um, what I'm going to do, I like borders that are half circles, so I'm going to just use half of it. Before I do that, I want to kind of look to see how many I'll get. It looks like I might get two and a half. I think what I'll do is I'll start from I'll just start from the inside. So I'm just going to place it about halfway. Just eyeballing it. That looks good. I think this brush might be a little too stiff for these um, I'm having to push pretty hard to get the bristles to go through the holes. Take a little peek. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like a little bit of paint from there got on the bottom, so I'm just going to wipe that. Okay, so do it again. I'm going to get a different brush. Let's see if a different one works better. Okay, this is the exact same kind of brush, but without the bristles trimmed. All right, so let's figure out... I'll just go ahead and put this one here, and then the edge will not be a full repeat. Oh yeah, this is much better. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just put this one here. Won't go over. The full thing won't be on there. Whoops, I shifted. Very cool. All right, now we'll do over here. This side must be, uh, the page must be a little wider. I'm getting the full stencil on. There! Mm -hmm.